Hey guys, I just read somewhere, and forgive me for not knowing the author, that God gives you your greatest gifts disguised as nightmares. Think about it. Your nightmares, the things that you find the most challenging, the things that you run away from, or face, actually. There's two camps on that. I mean, you might be brave and run into the fire while others run away from the fire. Those are the things your higher self, you yourself, brought to you right now, right here in this plane for your growth. And it's up to you to decide whether or not you're going to accept that gift and it is a gift, trust me. You yourself put that in your own path for your own expansion, for your, your consciousness, for the expansion of your consciousness. So if you gave yourself a gift and you don't take it, here's what happens. That gift is gonna keep boomeranging around. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but it's going to come back around and the volume is going to be turned up. It's going to be amplified. So whereas if you would have accepted it the first time, maybe it wouldn't have hurt so bad. <laughs> maybe it wouldn't have stung so bad. But the second time it comes around, it's going to be a little more intense. And then if you don't accept it then, well, the third time, yeah, that's going to sting. So... It's not to say that the universe punishes us. We don't punish ourselves. The thing about it is, catalyst is the only way we grow. And what do I mean by catalyst? Um, you know, like a little kid when they put their, their hand on something hot or like, I don't know, myself when I put a, a freaking uh, bobby pin in, in the uh, electrical outlet, it hurt. It, it, that, that was crazy. I got shocked, right? But I learned, I didn't do it again, because I'm not an asshole. I didn't go around putting more bobby pins in electrical outlets. But that's how we learn, because it, it hurts, it's painful. And we make our greatest strides in life through catalyst, through pain. Pain is change, and it's not that we're pseudo-masochistic. We're not going around going, oh, bring me, bring me pain and flagellating ourselves like some crazy people did in the past. It doesn't have to be that way. It's just that the more asleep we are, perhaps the more we need to be shaken awake. And the more willing you are to open your mind, open your eyes and accept your own reality, the less it'll hurt. And it doesn't have to, you just need to be conscious. And if you are unwilling to look at things, yeah, it's gonna smart, that's it. So my advice to you is to live, start living, open your heart, have gratitude, because that's the crux of this. We are beings of love, ultimately. We are not beings of fear. You are a magnificent creature and you have blessings and gifts within you that are untapped and this is, this is part of my uh, pre-incarnate knowledge. Um, I wish I could show you everything that I know about who and what you are, but sometimes we have to start small, little steps to know that you are magnificent. And when we are in a state of fear, it just takes longer to get there. <laughs> but I love you all very much. Be kind, love each other, and support each other. And most of all, let's start dropping the fear shit. That's a really good place to start. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.